Welcome back to ABC 7 at 5. I'm Eric Elkin. Stephanie Vai is off tonight. Rockets launching from our area, like the one you're about to see right here, becoming more common. But this one here became more of a lesson for scientists. ABC 7 was the only media at Spaceport America this morning to capture the explosion you see here on your screen. Thankfully, though, this mission was unmanned. Part of the rocket's payload included the ashes of a NASA astronaut, as well as 13 of NASA's TechRise student projects. ABC 7's Jared Ortega was there and brings us this report from the launch site. He reports from New, New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. A tough day for rocket scientists here at Spaceport America. Unfortunately, that takeoff did not go as planned. Spaceport officials tell me that successful missions are never a guarantee, and today was one of those days. Just moments after liftoff, the UP aerospace rocket faced an unfortunate turn of events when it exploded seconds after it cleared the launch pad. It's always hard, and today was an example of that. When you, when you know and you, and you reflect upon the hours of work and, and the dedication of so many people coming together, and sometimes flights don't go nominal. The mission was carrying 13 payloads from NASA's TechRise Student Challenge, a program that invites students to design, build, and launch science and technology experiments on commercial suborbital rockets. The payload also included the cremated remains of NASA's first ever Australian-born American astronaut, the late Philip K. Chapman, as well as the remains of renowned chemist Luis Ann O'Dean. Aerospace officials expressed disappointment with the launch, but acknowledged the hard work from all of the organizations involved in today's launch. The sun will come up tomorrow. We will learn more and we will take another rocket flight opportunity. In another example of how hard rocketry really is, even for a company like Up Aerospace, who's had several successful missions out here at Spaceport America, unfortunately today was not one of them. Reporting outside of Las Cruces, Jared Ortega, ABC7. And again, no one was injured by that explosion. Celeste's co-founder and CEO, Charles Schaefer, issued the following statement about the launch saying, quote, we have full confidence that Up Aerospace will find and fix the problem and we look forward to flying again with them when they are ready.